Colin Falvey is quick on his feet in his Brookfield ballroom. Dancing is what I do for career and decorating is what I do for my own fun. A hobby that allowed him to two-step his way into the White House. So I've always wanted to do this before. I saw like a documentary once on it like years ago as a kid and I'm Christmas obsessed to be with it. I saw my friends just obsessed with Christmas. So he applied to be a volunteer decorator, submitted a portfolio of his work and wrote an essay. I kind of said, you know, just you know, why I love Christmas, what the spirit of it is, what you know, just the whole sense of family. And then with this year with same sex being um, granted legal, I said it would be a great monumental year to kind of celebrate that as well. Getting this job wasn't easy. It took eight months for Colin to get accepted. And once in, it was time to leave the dance floor and lend a hand helping decorate the White House. Colin was one of 80 volunteer decorators picked nationwide, and he documented the historic event on his cell phone. Um, it was very meticulously organized. It was, okay, these ornaments are going in this room, on this wall, on this fixture. One of his assignments was to decorate the Palm Room, the entrance to the West Wing and Oval Office. His work apparently left quite an impression on the president, which he learned about during a conversation with the First Lady. She goes, oh, you're the one who did the Palm Room. I'm like, yeah, I did, I'm like, kind of, I did most of it. She goes, oh, my husband loves that room. It's one of his favorites. Um, so it was very, very humbling. A job well done with the president's stamp of approval. In Brookfield, Hillary Mintz, WISN 12 News. How about that? He took his mom as his guest to the White House. He hopes to get the chance next year to return and decorate again.